Hello, Health Game Programmer here. Over the next couple of videos, I'll be teaching you in depth about C++ game programming with Dart GDK. It's very easy to start game programming, and I'm sure you'll be creating games in no time. First off, let's go and make sure you've installed all of the three things. First is Microsoft Visual C++ Studios Express Edition. Then we need to go and install DirectX. SDK 2007 August release because we are using Dark GDK and last but not least we need to install Dark GDK. All of the links will be in the description box. Once you have it all up and running let's go and make a new TD project. Go to File, New, Project, Wizards, Dark GDK 2D Game let's name it something, let's name it tutorial 1 and go ok ok once it's all loaded up let's go to the main cpp file in the left hand side double click ok we won't need these comments, but I advise you to read them first, so go ahead and go and delete them. Ok, now that we've deleted them, let's take a look at the code. Up at the top is the include file, but it's not iostream, it's darkgdk.h. This is because darkgdk.h is the library we're using and includes all, includes all of the stuff in iostream. Next we come into our main function. This is void dark gdk. This is instead of the main function but it is recognized by dark gdk as the main function. Ok, now the first command we're going to use is db sync on. As you can see all of the commands that dark gdk has starts with db and it's case sensitive. db sync on makes it very easy to update the screen so you can see what's happening. Next command works alongside dbsyncon and it's called dbsyncrate and we're going to set it to 60 frames per second. Next one we're going to disable the escape key and you'll see about that later and we're not going to use the randomized things, the randomized function so just go ahead and delete that. The next one is db load image. We're going to use that function a lot. db load image loads up an image, <laughs> loads up an image and gives it an ID number. We're going to give it an ID of 1. The next command we're going to use a lot is db sprite. db sprite is gets the image according to the ID number and places it anywhere in the game and then gives it an ID number on top of that. So let's go ahead and make it again so you can see what happens. You go db sprites, rem remember it's case sensitive, then we open the parentheses and then it comes up with a little yellow box saying what needs to be in it. Let's give an ID of 1 seeing as the backdrop was 1 and because it's a background let's set it to 0 across and 0 down and we're using the ID from the image 1 and let's close the parentheses and to semicolon. The next thing we can just delete because we don't really need it. And then we get onto our main loop. It's while loop GDK. Again we don't need this for loop. So we just delete it. And this is quite an important thing. It's if open the parentheses, db escape key, open and close parentheses, close parentheses. And what this does, it sees if you're pressing the escape key, it breaks out of the while loop and then it goes to this for loop. What it's saying is it's going to delete all of these sprites. Obviously we don't have 30 sprites, so it'll just stop when it gets to the last one and then, it'll, and then it moves on and it deletes the image then it's ready to return back to Windows so it just returns. To make it lovely and clean so it's very easy to understand we're going to put all the commands in functions in different header files. 
Okay, let's go over and do that now. Let's go to source files. Right click, add new item. Head to file. Let's call it setup. As you can see now, it's added, and up here it's added. To include it into the main.cpp file, as you should know, you do include and then set up or whatever name you want. Dot h, and that includes whatever's in the setup file. Now, in the setup file, let's make a function called, called setup. Open close parentheses, open brace, and close brace. Let's go back and put all of the setup things, which is this stuff before the while loop. Let's cut it and put it in the setup. So we'll run and do all that. To include it, all we need to do in, to include it in this function. As you should know as well, just do setup or the name of the function and close parentheses and press semicolon. And then when it's running through, it'll go setup, go into this and run that. Okay, let's make another function in the setup.h called void load. Open close parentheses, open brace and close brace. This is where we'll load all the pictures we're going to use. So let's load, let's first of all create a picture. So let's go to, let's go to paint. I've already created a picture, 100 pixels wide by 100 pixels depth. And let's colour it orange, because I like orange. And when we go to save it, click on save as. And then my documents. Visual Studios 2008 Projects Then go to the project we created which is Tutorial 1 Click on it again And let's save as box.bmp Let's go back to Visual C++ Studios And go to the void load Because we've loaded it into our project All we have to do now is make the command db load loads image and then as you can see there's a little yellow box saying what needs to be in here the file name and the id let's type in the file name to do a file name open up speech marks and type in the name you saved the picture as and close it then do a comma and type in the ID. Let's give an ID of two. No two images can have the same ID. That's very important. And then use close with semicolon. Now let's create another function called create. In this function, we're going to create the sprites using the images we've loaded. So let's use db load db sprite open and it needs an id this id is different to the load id so let's give it a look let's give it an id of 2 let's make it let's build it at 200 across and 200 down and now this id is the id we used for the load so we use 2 because you want to use the box and close speech mark um let close parentheses and put a semicolon. Now we need to include it in our main CPP file. To do that, up straight off to the void dark GDK put the names so load open close brackets parentheses and create. Now that the exe file is compiled we can see what we've done. As you can see, it's loaded the background image and our little orange box 